What up, YouTube? <clears throat> Today's video, I want to talk about underestimation. Now, underestimation is something that everybody can say that they experience because underestimation is like a drug. It's like a disease. You know what I'm saying? Like, me personally, I hate when somebody underestimates me. Now, let me break this down. Now, I know a lot of people probably feel the same way. You know what I'm saying? You hate when people underestimate you. Like, if you're short, people think you can't play basketball. People probably think you can't dribble. You know what I'm saying? They probably think you don't even know your cause just because you're short. You know what I'm saying? They prejudge you just because how you look. Now, being prejudiced, everybody, I don't give a fuck who you are, everybody has been prejudiced at least once because prejudice is prejudging people before you get the norm, before you get the norm, okay? That's prejudice, okay? Just to clear that up. That's not racist. That's prejudice. Prejudging someone, you know what I'm saying? But, like, you see somebody that's short on the basketball court, 9 out of 10 from the people that you're going to pick up, you probably going to get a tall person. You know what I'm saying? Over a short person, but it'd be funny if that short person is a beast. You know what I'm saying? Because you underestimated him or her. Like, people always underestimated me no matter what. Like, it probably seems hard to believe, but, yes, people have always underestimated me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do this, you can't do that. Oh, you can't rap. You can't hoop. Motherfucker rap, motherfucker hoop. Take over everything. Anything I touch, it turned to gold. That's all I'm saying. You feel me? See my aura? Super Saiyan fire type shit, plus eight, you know what I'm saying? But real talk though, like, I just don't like underestimation. And I've said this a few times, you know what I'm saying, that underestimation can get you killed. Now, when I say that, you know what I'm saying, you have to listen. Underestimation can get you killed. Now, what basically what that means is, that doesn't mean, you know what I'm saying, that you won't do anything, but the art of war, the book, The Art of War, tells you that deception in, in war deception is one of your biggest enemies because you underestimate and you man what the fuck <laughs> tweet it but yeah if you underestimate your opponent you see what I'm saying you prejudge your opponent your opponent could kill you because you don't know if your opponent is gonna attack back but think about it like this you underestimate your opponent. You look at your opponent like, oh, this person is this person. They're not going to attack. The whole time, boom, they already got a plan to destroy you. You see what I'm saying? So it's like you can't underestimate. Vice versa, you look at somebody, you go like, nah, that's a good person. Nah, that's a bad person. You misread their energy. You, you, you go off what you think you know, and boom, that shit just blow up in your face. It happens every time. You know what I'm saying? You have to know how to read somebody's energy. You know what I'm saying? People always misread my energy. You feel me? But like I say... You know, so to underestimate nobody. The art of war, deception is your biggest enemy when you're in war. I'm trying to tell you that, people. Y'all better wake the damn up. But think about it, though. Whether you have an afro, whether you have a haircut, whether you have curly hair, you know what I'm saying? Whether you have straight hair, wavy hair, no matter what, you know what I'm saying? No matter what hairstyle you rock, no matter what style you pursue, you know what I'm saying? Somebody always going to prejudge you, you know, no matter what color they is, you know what I'm saying, because color, what is color? A color is a crayon, your skin, it, it looks like a color, the color brown, you know what I'm saying, bronze, whatever you want to say, but your skin really is not a color, because color is for crayons, you know what I'm saying, your skin has a hue, you know what I'm saying, a darker hue, a lighter hue, you know what I'm saying, your pigmentation, you know what I'm saying, like, Real talk, like, you, like if you preach at somebody, like, for example, a uh, quote-unquote black person walking down the street, and they see a white person, the white person probably think, <clears throat> the white person probably thinking, oh, this guy is probably going to try to rob me, you know what I'm saying, the black person probably thinking, oh, uh, let me just move on, let me move to the side of the street, because this person might try to hang me or something, like, you know what I'm saying, like, some ignorant shit, like, you know what I'm saying, but that's how it goes. You see what I'm saying? Like, that's how it is. Like, it's not the fact that you racist. You know what I'm saying? It's like you prejudging people. Like, it's like, like I said, it's an awkward racist moment, okay? I'm the first people, person to ever tell you that. Awkward racist moment. Like, with the Alton Sterling and the Philando Castile situation. 
that necessarily, well, I was talking about being prejudiced, but I ain't mean to go off topic, but let me break this down. An awkward racist moment, like, for example, you walk down the street, you bump into a white person, boom, whole time, altercation, blah, 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 it look like some racist shit, but it ain't racist, it just so happened to be a white person, it just so happened to be a black person, an awkward racist moment. But the Alton Sterling and the Orlando Castillo situation, that's an awkward racist moment. You see what I'm saying? It just so happened to be white cops to respond to you know what I'm saying? Whatever call, it was called for the Alton Sterling thing or those white cops that just so happened to be patrolling the neighborhood and just wanted the bottom. They just so happened to be white. And Alton Sterling, the victim, just so happened to be black. That's an awkward racist moment. You see what I'm saying? Like, just think about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, people say this staged event. This is not a staged event. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. That's an awkward racist moment. It just so happened to be this. So happen to be that. Not a coincidence. Awkward racist moment. You know what I'm saying? It just so happen to be two different people from two different quote unquote races. You see what I'm saying? Think about it. You know? Like, it's just so much stuff. Like, with the Philando Castillo situation, that police officer just so happen to be white. And like I said, the victim just so happen to be black. I'm not saying that it. I'm not saying that it's not a tragedy, because it is a tragedy, and it's sad, but what I'm saying is, it's an awkward racist moment with the whole picture of it, like, people think it's a race war, white versus black, that's how they want you to think, you fools, okay, because look, white versus black, those are awkward racist moments, we are all people at the end of the day, it just so happened to be that that person is black, that got victimized, and that person is white, they got victimized, you know what I'm saying, it's an awkward racist moment that you so happen to bump into a person in a different ethnicity, they don't gotta be white. They could be Hispanic. They could be anything. You know what I'm saying? They could be Egyptian. Anything. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's gonna look racist because it's two different races. It's two different people from two different races getting into an altercation. People gonna automatically think it's some racist shit. You know what I'm saying? People gonna automatically say some racist shit. The whole time, it's just an awkward racist moment. You know what I'm trying to tell you. But speaking on prejudice, like I said, like you walking down the street. And the white person think this, the black person think that, blah, blah, blah. That's prejudging. You know what I'm saying? It's not racist. You just prejudging because, you know what I'm saying? He was a white guy. They had on loafers while it was summertime. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some weird shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you prejudge them. You know what I'm saying? Like, like with the rock stars. A lot of people think rock stars gay because they wear the tight jeans and tight clothes the whole time. They be fucking the most hoes. Like, let's just keep it out there, bro. Like, what's that dude's name? Russell Brand or some shit? Him, like it was something.